Good afternoon, Mrs. Jessica. Good afternoon, uh, Ms. Annie Jelling. Okay. So today I am here to talk to you about communication skills, how you used to talk, how you used to communicate in the traditional way, okay. and uh, how is it done today in the contemporary way. So can you please tell us something about your Malaita province, like where you come from? How was communication in the olden days? Okay, yeah, so I'm from Malita province, but uh, at the certain um, part of Malita, right before, because of there is no uh, email, mobile phones, radio, uh, they don't use that before, so how they use uh, to communicate is, one is through corn shell, they blow the corn shell, and then uh, other villages around, they hear about the conchel and they know that, oh, that village chief must have something for us to do. Either we're having a meeting or just a news about someone died in the village, so forth. Another way of communication is beating the drums, yeah? So when they had used um, beating drums, villages around, they know that uh, that village uh, chief must have something to say. Uh, maybe arranging a meeting or it's also like someone died in the village and also before they use uh, smoke too from the fire they just uh, use fire and then the smoke tells everyone that there must something happen in that village so that's how they communicate before uh, in my place okay. I think that's all and uh, how did they used to communicate, like how did children used to communicate with you? Like your small children, if they wanted to eat something or they wanted to go to the toilet or something like that, did they use sign language or did they use, uh, did they talk to you or something like that? Um, for my experience, my children, like because of like we stay in here in Solomon Islands, and if they hungry, some uh, they used to, oh, mommy, I'm hungry. They just tell uh, that they are hungry. Some, they just lie down and they sleep. You think that they are sleeping, but no, they are hungry. Sometimes they just do the action that, oh, mommy, I'm hungry. I want to eat. Yeah. yeah? If they want to go to the loo, some, they just run to their mommies or aunties and they just hold at their pam pam and they say, Auntie, mommy, I want to go to the loo. And they, whoever is around them, they know that this one wants to go to the loo. Or sometimes they just say, I, I want to pee pee or something like that. They yeah. use words that uh, their aunties or their mom can know that this one wants to go to the loo. Or this one is hungry. That's why he's saying this and this. Okay. And uh, nowadays, like, what do you think nowadays, uh, how is communication nowadays, the contemporary way? Before? Now. They, now? Yeah. Now some children, they just um, similar, a bit similar like before. They just go to their parents and tell them that they are hungry. Some because of now food is easy to get, like some parents, they just put food around inside the kitchen. Children, when they're hungry, they just run to where the food is. Some, they just tell their parents, oh, I'm hungry, I want to eat. Yeah, even going to the loo, it's the same too. Yes. And uh, communication nowadays in your traditional like villages, the islands, is it the same or has it changed to mobile phones and? Oh, the com no, yes. Now the, the communication now is totally changed. Yeah. Before we don't use, now we don't use drums, we don't use uh, fire anymore, we don't use people to run to the village to pass the news, we don't use uh, beating of drums like I mentioned it before. Now they see communication now is very, very easy and okay. fast okay. to communicate yeah, because for me, at my place, even it's right in the bush, they just use the mobile phone and they whatever they want, you know that, oh, this is from the village. So my communication now is much easier than before. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You go and eat, eat this.